Hello, I'm Antonio Costa, R&D manager for HDMI Control IP solutions at Synopsys. Today, I will be demonstrating our HDMI receiver control IP implemented in our Apps 51 platform together with our, our Fi IP. I will focus in our new fast switching feature, what it is and how it works. But first, let's talk about user experience. More and more, the user experience is key for the product to be successful. At home, you may have noticed that your TV will take around five seconds to switch between HDMI input one and HDMI input two. If you are like me, your impression is that you don't really have the control over your TV. And your TV will decide to present you a grid plus screen during five long seconds. Eventually, after that time, the TV will decide to show you the HDMI input two, which is not the best experience with the TV. Fast switching technology within Synopsys Designware HDMI Receiver IP solution improves the user experience considerably. They will notice the higher quality and speed of the HDMI receiver device. Whether it is a TV, a VR, multimedia box, or any device with several HDMI inputs, fast switching technology reduces switching time from five seconds to around one second. Now I will show you how fast switching works. Let's take a real life example. A TV connected to a setup box and a Blu-ray player. When the setup box and Blu-ray player are connected to the TV, the output detect signals of both HDMI inputs rises to plus five volts and the receiver terminations are activated on both HDMI inputs. Both the setup box and Blu-ray will read the edit information and start the HTTP authentication process. However, only the selected device is able to authenticate with the TV, which in this case is the setup box. When the user selects the Blu-ray player input, it only has to wait for HTCP authentication. The Synopsys HDMI receiver controller has a full HTCP hardware engine that enables extremely fast HTCP authentication, around one second or less, depending on the HTCP transmitter authentication speed. So after only one second, the video is displayed on the TV screen. Basically, the edit is read upon the connection and only the HTTP authentication happens when the user selects that input, which reduces considerably the time from five seconds down to one second. Now, I will show you exactly what the Synopsys fast switching solution looks like. The Synopsys Designware HDMI Receive IP with fast switching solution is optimized for die area and power consumption. It is based on a single HDMI receiver file with two ports or four ports input multiplexer and one single HDMI receiver controller and HDMI receiver API software. Let me show you the hardware we'll be using for this demonstration. This is the Synopsys HDMI receiver demonstration system. It is comprised of an onboard display, a Synopsys Apps 51 mainboard, an audio PLL and audio director card and the HDMI receiver file data card with two HDMI inputs. The HDMI receiver controller is implemented in Apps 51 Vtex 5 FPGA. The HDMI RX software is running embedded code in a processor inside the FPGA. Let's start the demonstration now. The two HDMI inputs are connected to a Blu-ray player and to a multimedia player playing two different movies. Here, you can see a movie playing on the display. I will press the HDMI input switching button and you will see that the video switches to the other player in less than a second. Switching back and forth is fast and easy. Nothing like the five seconds delay that I have at home. It's the technology in the Designware HDMI receiver IP and fast switching solution that makes switching so seamless. To summarize, you discover how Synopsys Designware HDMI receiver with fast switching solution works and its made components. And finally, you just have seen a demonstration of Synopsys Designware Receiver IP solution with fast switching, which highlights the fast one second switching time and the interoperability with commercial Blu-ray player and multimedia player. To learn more about Designware HDMI IP portfolio, please visit Synopsys at synopsys.com slash HDMI.